up with the bubble gum cricket. I don't think there's any trout up in here, but there should be some red eyes and maybe some bluegill. We're just out doing some hot summer fun fishing today. And you never know what you're going to get. I'm using a 1 30 second to do jig head. And just six pound test line. I'm not going with the leader. No swivel. No nothing. Let's see what we can get started. The cricket coming straight first. There we go. bluegill that's small bluegill very small can't hardly get it none of them oh there's, there's a bluegill oh he had it there's some ice ones. we have to go to a smaller hook yeah that gone There he is. Oh, yeah. There we go. What do we got here? What do we got here? Old Mr. Bluegill. Yep. Finally got over there and hit the sweet spot. That he popped it. I'll throw that little rascal back. I say a lot of people come here and catch your catfish bait. That's why you're not going to find a lot of big ones. But Think about these mountain crickets. You don't have to barely move them at all. The little legs, they do all the work. So if you've got kids, you want to take them fishing, all you got to do is get you a pack of mountain crickets. Because they're not messy. And they're scented. So the fish, when they hit them, they like that garlic scent. Oh. Right, we got a little shade we got some deep water we got cover over here probably lose my bait but I'm gonna try it Good looking bluegill hole here. Or anything for that matter. Sink a little bit. I don't know how shallow these things are. I don't want to go real deep, I'll lose another jig. Didn't see a thing follow it until I get next to the bank and there's all kinds of manners. There, what is that? There we go. Mr. Bluegill. Hit it on the fall. That's what you want. That's what we're after, Bluegill. Hitting it on the fall. Whoop. And he fell back in the water. Which is did he get in there? Yeah, he, nope, he ain't got in there yet. Let me help him out a little bit. He ain't very big, but you can imagine what they do when you get a bunch of them. Let's see if we can get another one. That was on our cold cricket. No, oh, he hit it on the fall, and I missed him. out there again just watch your line fishing without a bobber there he hit it there another hit and I missed him these are just small bluegill gotta be 
There ought to be a big one in there with them. There's one. He hit it as soon as he hit the water. And like I said, they're not very big. But just imagine what these crickets can do for you. If you're taking your kids fishing. And the good thing is, fishing them on a jig or a small hook like this with this artificial, you're not gut hooking them. They're not swallowing the bait like worms. And these crickets and worms by Appalachian baits, they go a long ways. There's another hit towards uh towards uh you know you buy a 15 pack they're gonna last several hours you buy a bunch of worms from the store and you get the worm stuff all over you the kids get it on their clothes and you're gonna have bluegill that are just like these little ones they're attacking everything that hits the water and at least the kids are getting bites and when they do catch one especially on an artificial bait they know they've done something really good there's one. Oh, that's a good one that's a crappie look what i did <laughs> this is good this is very good and that's a good crappie oh lord look at that boys and girls i'm gonna take a picture of this too while i'm here